Yo, what's up, world? This is your boy, APW Sports, signing in for episode five of Chicago Bears Weekly. Now, our first game has happened. We ended up losing that. And for the past couple of days, there has been a ton, and I mean a ton, of blame on that game that went to Mr. Trubisky. Now he had a bad game, rightfully so. But in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys to hold the criticism for the moment on Mitchell Trubisky as the full results of that game was not his fault. I'm gonna dive into the reasons why it was not fully on Mitch Trubisky. Now for the video, I'm gonna have clips of Trubisky's lowlights and highlights of the game and also a look back on the highlights that he had last season so you guys won't see this ugly face throughout the entire video so without further ado let's dive into it now in thursday's game trubisky did struggle tremendously with accuracy and a bit of his footwork and also his reads. But we cannot blame the way the entire offense looked solely on Mitchell Trubisky. And this is why the Bears only ran the ball 12 times against the Packers. I'm gonna say that again. The Bears only ran the ball 12 times against the Packers. Even in the past happy league as we have today, you are not going to be successful if you cannot keep the defense honest and run the ball. They're going to sit back and play coverage the entire game. Basically, you're going to be feeding right into the defense's hands because you're not committing to the running game. So obviously, the big hype on the run DMC combo, David Montgomery, Mike Davis, and Tariq Cohen, meant absolutely nothing in that game Thursday night. For Mike Davis to only have five carries for 19 yards, for David Montgomery to only have six carries for 18 yards, and Tariq Cohen did not have a single carry Thursday night, Trubisky had three on scrambles, and Cordero Patterson had that inexplicable third down call, third and one carry for negative two yards. So as a total, the Bears only managed 46 yards rushing. 46 yards. You cannot be a successful offense if you do not run the ball. Point blank period. Trubisky was 26 of 45. I'm going I'm to read that again 26 of 45 so that means Trubisky threw the ball 45 times and he was sacked five times so that means he dropped back 50 times during that game that is not a recipe for success I do not care what quarterback you have Throwing the ball 50 times can only get you so far. Evidence I'm going to prove to you guys. Just listen to this. Drew Brees, one of the greatest quarterbacks ever, had high passing attempts before the emergence of Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara. And those are running backs. Sean Payton in the offense finally committed to the running game. And the Saints started to be a more successful offense because, number one, they had a bad defense and they were able to keep them off of the field by playing cock management and running the football. The Bears need to run the football to be a successful team. The defense is absolutely elite. And I will give you guys that. The Bears defense is an absolute elite unit. But at the end of the day, when you're going three and out and you're not moving the ball on offense and you're not running the ball and keeping that defense fresh, you're going to lose games. So I say all this to say Trubisky is not the sole blame for that loss. We need to place more blame 
on head coach Matt Nagy and offensive coordinator Mark Helfrich. Those two need to be held accountable just as much as everybody is holding Mitchell Trubisky accountable for the loss. The Bears just simply have to run the ball and they will be successful this week against Denver. Point blank period. Thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts down below. If you think that the game was fully on Trubisky or do you agree or disagree with my opinion on the game and also be sure to subscribe to the channel as that helps the channel to grow and we are still on the 1000 subscriber grind and anything you guys do to help spread the channel will be 100% greatly appreciated and as I said I will be doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway more details will be coming within the next couple of weeks or so on my social medias so be sure to follow me on instagram here and also on twitter here both handles is apw sports and also be sure to click that notification bell to be notified and when your boy uploads a brand new video other than that i am signing out apw sports peace out I wanna say thank you to my mom and my daddy For making love the night that you had me Wanna thank my friends, my sister and my brother